G'day guys, how are you going? Got another one of these Pioneer campers. This one's an Onyx again. Uh, it's a grey one this time, slightly different kitchen, and we're doing a couple of modifications to get rid of some of the pain points. G'day guys, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. So today what we're gonna work on mainly is um, the gas quick connect on the, on the back of the hot plate here. Um, they don't make them anymore, so we're just taking that apart, putting in something that's uh, you know, ready available, spare parts around, so we're getting that sorted. Also, we're going to put in two gas bayonets inside the wet storage, which is underneath. One that's going to shoot off to the side for the barbecue, and the other one is just for the hot plates. And then we're just going to put a new regulator at the front of the, uh, of the, front of the unit uh, where the spare bottle is. He wants to leave the original gas um, installation in place that takes on uh, that, that you know, only really feeds the hot water system. So he's getting that, leaving that as is. So just another one, we'll just put a brand new regulator in, stick it on the front there, hook it all up two bayonets in the wet storage and then he'll be off and running and make it a bit easier so we'll, we'll show you when we're all done thanks okay so just to recap on, on this one what we were doing is putting a new regulator on there two bayonets in the wet storage similar to the white one that we've um, done the white onyx that we've done um, so yeah I'll just show you how it all how it all worked out you can see here the um, chucked a new regulator up in here with a flexi hose okay so that's mounted onto that bottle gas gas main is of course sleeved all the way under, goes under here. Then we, oh, down here we've got the, um, the wet storage. So now all we have to do now is open them both up. So you've got the one bayonet here for the barbecue and then this one is for the hot plate, okay? I'll show you the barbecue one first. We've just got the barbecue up here at the moment. Just take it off. Again, so if you did wanna connect it, all he's gotta do is open it up, unwind it like that. Take the, uh, the dust cap out. Very easy, pops out, shoves the um, hose on, and then that can hook you know, straight onto the barbecue. No gas is going to come out of that, of course, because um, it's, a, it's a quick release fitting. And that just slips onto the barbecue. You can see over here, got the quick, quick release over here that just slides on, pops on that, and then you, you know, your barbecue's ready for cooking for gas. Okay, so very easy again to take it off. Just going to undo it like that, pop it off. Oh, grab the cap. It's always good to keep the uh, the sand and stuff out of it. You don't want that going into the barbecue. Like when you drop it like that. Just wind it up, nice and easy. Oh, keep your knots out of it. Okay. And that's why I leave mine just on, on top of the barbecue there. Okay. Okay, so now um, I'll just let you know how we went with this hot plate, okay? So with the kitchen here, this is a different type of model uh, kitchen on, on one of the Onyxes, right? Um, so what used to happen is, um, so here's a hot plate here, okay? And that just folds out against the side of the camper here. Now the old gas connect used to come here, okay? And it used to point towards, towards this way. And so you'd have to hook the hose on and then run the hose all the way to the LPG bottle and a really long hose, okay? But when the the new gas connect and quick connects are a little bit fatter and it was rubbing on the side of this um, on this side of this you know, shelf here. So when you'd go to clip it in, it, it, it would grip so it wouldn't lock on there properly. So if we face it straight down, it might have been all right, but then it, it's, it's in the way of this um, mud guard here. So we're in a bit of a dilemma. Okay, so what I ended up doing is you can see this swings out all the way. So again, very difficult to clip it on and all, all that with the hose. So that kitchen locks into place. And so all I've done is just shifted it out to the front. Bit of a mucking around, I have to take the panel off the bottom and, and re-jig re it and re-weld it underneath here. But here's quick, you know, it's a lot, lot easier to hook onto. You see, it doesn't interfere with anything. The, um, the gas hose just sits, on, sits in the top, so pretty good location. So to hook this up now, a lot easier. So you just gotta reach in under here, go to the hot plate bayonet, just take the dust cap, cap out. Put your plug in, okay, all good. Now remember, no gas is coming out because of the quick release fitting, you just pop that cap out. That just pops on like this now, okay, how easy is that? Open this up, give it a bit of, give it a bit of gas and that'll, it'll come through once the uh, air's out of the hose. So, yep, yeah, put your cup of tea on, start cooking, which is, uh, which is a great thing. So again, and really easy to pack up again. Just with your thumb on it like this, pop it off, Chuck the cap in, okay. Just reach underneath, bayonet comes out, 
you put that dust cap back in, make it like so, once it changed out of the way, lock it in. And again, you can just lay your, lay your hose down on top, back it around the burners, back over there, rest it down, not gonna touch anything. And that's it, nice and easy. And I'll, I'll show you now when we, when we pack it up. Now we pack it up, just lift it up, see how it's missing. Just missing, that's what we like to see. Just missing all the way. Lock it into place. And as we push the whole kitchen back in, only a couple meals spare, but it still works and it's a lot easier and sorts it out. So if you've got one of these Piney Onyxes and you've got a few pain points that you wanna you know, iron out, then um, give us a call and we'll be happy to help. We've got a few other videos on, the, on these ones that we've worked on too with other options. So um, yeah, check them out. So we've got a large workshop. Now many years ago, I worked as a plumber at a company called Hasten Shipyards over in Holland. Now they build these luxury aluminium super yachts. Now it was there I was taught how to TIG weld because I had to make up brackets sometimes where there weren't, weren't any you know, support for these pipes that I was putting in. So it's very easy for me to fabricate you know, brackets to hold bayonets or water connectors or something for your, for your caravan or camper to protect them from branches, bushes or just to su support them. I don't know why, sometimes I just find it hard to concentrate. So if you, like me, live in the best city in Australia and you would like an extra gas bayonet put in your caravan or you think there might be a gas leak or you just need the gas um, certified on your camper or caravan or even thinking, oh, I wouldn't mind having a little hot water system plumbed in or even an extra water tank, give Beautiful Plumbing a call. We'll be happy to help. Hey, thanks for watching.